A rare, easy victory for Coastal Carolina in Big South play. Good Sunday. This is the Cliff Ellis Show. I'm Rich Crampanis. Coach, what an effort against PC. I tell you, we came out of the box extremely well. This is the best we've played in, in a long time uh, against a very good team. But uh, I thought our defense was very good early. Uh, Danny Neiman hit some big shots early. Uh, we had momentum going on both sides of the ball. Then it became uh, a, a boxing match, back and forth. Uh, both teams going at each other. Coleman having a great game on their end. And then us getting balance scoring on the other end, but a very good win Saturday afternoon. Coach, you had four straight games that were decided by five points or less. It must have been nice to relax just a little bit. I'm telling you, we got to the two-minute mark and we had a 20-point lead. I, I didn't know what to do. It felt very different, but it was good to kind of relax a little bit, get everybody in the game. Let's take a look at the action from Saturday afternoon between the Shauna Clears and Presbyterian. And Coach, uh, one thing I noticed, the guys were awfully loose at the beginning of the game. They looked like they were in a good mindset. Very, very good energy. Very good energy. Ready to play, knowing what they had to do. We came out and did it. Uh, such a good start for your team. Anthony Raffi had one point on Thursday against Gardner Webb. He got right on the board right away, and his confidence instantly came back. But he did a good job for us on both ends of the floor. And then Danny Neiman here early in the game. They left him open. And he knocked down two big three-pointers. Well, they opened up against, uh, against us with zone, which is what everybody's been playing. But he knocked down shots. And the best way to get somebody out of a zone is to knock down the three. And Danny Neiman looks like he's a much improved shooter. He didn't miss on Saturday. He did a great job. That's exactly right. Six for six from the field, four for four from the three-point line. And Coastal was on its way. Eight-nothing lead. This Sam McLaurin basket makes it. 10 nothing, and then here's Rafa with the steal. Coach, you're up 12-2. Well, defense really can help with a lot of things on offense. So with that early lead, you built on it some more thanks to Chris Gradnigo, streaky shooter boy, and he was he was on a couple of hot streaks in this game. i tell you what, he was feeling it early, wasn't he? He sure was. Here's Grandigo knocking down another jumper, and then, Coach, another piece to your team. We saw Dexter Moore get in the mix and did some good things. He really did. I was very pleased with Dexter's play. He was aggressive. He attacked, he played good defense. 21-6 Coastal with under 12 minutes to go in the first half. A put back here by John Pack. We're gonna talk a lot more about him and then Dexter one more time. This time a nice pass from Sam McLaurin. Very nice pass. Chris Grandigo, a turnaround jumper, 29-15. Coach, boy, he has those big time moves when he's isolated one-on-one. -on -one. Well, he's very confident with the ball and he can make plays. Coach, you managed the lead very well throughout this entire game. Eric Washington made it a 31-21 game. You call a timeout, and just like that, right out of the T.O., great play here by Kier Greenwood. Well, it was a nice play, and, and he's the leader of our team uh, when it comes to the offense. He's the quarterback. He never really got that lead. It was got to nine, but then you just built it up some more. Grad to go with a baseline jumper. And then, Coach, how about this to end the first half? Pretty clutch by Chris. Well, it was a big play because of momentum. They get the ball coming out of the second half, so those buckets are big when you can score at the end. 40 to 26, Coastal has the lead by 14 at the half. In the second half, Coach, it was Anthony Rafa getting going once again. Here's a three from Anthony. Big shot. And how about Rafa here? He does a great job of maneuvering in the paint. Well, he can move, he, you know, he's a little scat back. He can get in there low and make plays. Danny Neiman hits his third three of the game. And then here's Kier Greenwood. We'll see later in the show. He did a lot of this against Gardner Webb as well, the hoop and the foul. He sure did. And you send him to the line, he's going to knock him down. 51-37 Coastal. Here's Neiman's fourth and final three of the game. Makes it 54-42. And my coach, like you said, PC a good team. They they didn't give up. This is Khalid Mutakabir hooping a foul. It's now an eight-point game at the 12-minute mark. Well, as we know they're not going to go away, and they're making big plays. And this team didn't beat Cincinnati by not being a good team. And then, uh, well, a big story. John Pack, 10 points, nine rebounds. Uh, you know, three years ago, you couldn't have imagined John Pack being this much of a contributor in the rotation. He's really worked hard. He's improved, and uh, he's very aggressive. Loved the way he played today. Coach, you made a really good point. Uh, Coach Mamadou Njai has really had a strong influence on him, and you really see it in his game. Well, there's no doubt that uh, Coach Njai has made a big difference with these guys. He's just coming out of professional basketball, and, you know, I'm 5'10 and a half. Uh, you know, it's a lot different me showing my footwork than somebody like Coach Njai. Uh, I taught Coach Njai how to play. He's learned some things professionally, and he's showing us some things that are important. 
Uh, and John Pack has definitely been one of the recipients. Anthony Raffa with the drive here makes it 64 51. And then, Coach, uh, this is a nice luxury to have. You got a red hot little moment there from Chris Grandigo. He slams off this miss here, and then he goes on to score seven consecutive points. Coach, this was the knockout punch. Well, it was the knockout punch, and it was able for us to, you know, with the game that we've got coming up Tuesday, it allowed us to rest some people a little bit. Uh, so uh, that kind of sealed the deal. Chris Gradnigo with that flurry. John Pack finished the game off strong. As we said before, 10 points, nine rebounds, and coach a solid victory, 81 to 63 over the Blue Hose. Very proud of our team. It was a good win. I mean, it's not so much pressure on you. Uh, you just got to sustain the lead and uh, be smart and uh, stay disciplined, but it definitely feels good not being only up two or three and that pressure on you. So it definitely is a good feeling. Good to hold a lead. You know, we've been getting out. We've been down early, then we get up, and then we let them back. So it felt good to, to keep a lead and hold a lead, and we kept them to 60 points. So we played pretty good defense, but we're, we're going to find some negatives out of it and turn them into positives. RHCC peak performer from the Presbyterian game is Danny Neiman. 16 points. Coach, he didn't miss a single shot. Well, 100%, and then he, had, he did a good defensive job. Uh, he, he guarded them tough defensively. Uh, you know, very proud of the way they played. That's, that's Danny's best game here this year. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll look back on Thursday night's game against Gardner-Webb. That's where the Cliff Ellis Show continues right after this. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. At Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers and sponsors of the Coach Cliff Ellis Show. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton, along with my children Case, Preston, and Mary Madison. I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britton Law Firm. And Coach Ellis and Coach LaForce, we have fine men that are leading our students at Coastal to great achievements. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program. The Britton Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Crescent Bank. The great folks at Crescent Bank are big supporters of Coastal Carolina basketball and Chanticleer Athletics. Visit one of Crescent Bank's four Grand Strand locations in Conway, Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, and Garden City. Crescent Bank, have a nice bank. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Griffin Industries, a tradition in agribusiness since 1943. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Griffin Industries. Since 1943, Griffin Industries has been partnering with restaurants to provide spent grease removal. Griffin's family-owned recycling expertise covers 18 states, including the Carolinas. Call Griffin Industries today to see how your restaurant can receive best in-class service coupled with the most attractive rebate programs in the industry. Call 800-743-7413 or visit www.griffinind.com. Welcome back to the Cliff Ellis Show presented by HTC at Griffin Industries. Coastal Carolina coming off that big win on Saturday over Presbyterian. Now we're going to go back to Thursday. Gardner-Webb, a team that is going to be in that top four or five in the Big South. I'm going to tell you, they're a good basketball team. They've got inside-outside presence. And again, this was a game that just went down to the wire. I mean, what a basketball game. It went down to the very end. Let's look back on Thursday night between the shot of clears and the running Bulldogs. Coach, we're so used to you guys getting off to a good start at Kimball, but this time around it was Gardner-Webb, 8-0 to start the game. Well, I tell you what, our out-of-bounds under defense really let us down. That was my fault. That, that start, we were out-of-bounds under uh, playing a certain defense, and number 10 got a couple of threes, and uh, that got them off to, to a good start. But we came back, uh, but uh, I take responsibility for their early start. Coach, uh, this team really never shows any sense of panic. It was so early in the game, and they, they just got after a start with Chris Grant to go down low. Well, he was a guy that really scored some points for us. Uh, you know, we struggled without Chris and Kier offensively in this game. Uh, 
you know, Gardner Webb, uh, uh, they were a solid, strong team. Uh, they're very physical, and uh, they make it tough for you to score, and we made it tough for them to score. It was that kind of game. Sam McLaurin with the hoop and the foul here. The deficit's now 14 to 8, just six points. And then here's Grant to go one more time. He's when he gets hot, you just got to let him go, right? Well, you you, you got to give him the green light. Uh, he's got that ability to do it. Got to give him the green light. Big spark in the first half. This is a great block here by Chris Grandigo, but the freshman Warren Gillis had a couple of big buckets. Really liked the way that he played. Uh, uh, Rafa took a shot to the chin uh, that uh, kind of dazed him a little bit, and Warren Gillis went in and did a very good job for us. Gillis with the jumper here puts Coastal in front 15 to 14, and Coach, you just mentioned it here. Uh, Anthony Rafa, boy, looked like he was in a prize fight. Well, it's just, it was a physical game, a very physical game, but you got to you got to body up in those type of situations. Rafa held to just one point in this game, but Chris Grandigo was there. Two more three-pointers, Coach. This was his hottest streak of the whole game right here. He opened it up for us in the first half, and uh, we needed that lift because we were having a hard time scoring. Here, Greenwood here with uh, makes it a 24-14 coastal advantage. And, you know, Sam McLaurin does so much good things inside. His range is getting better, too. Here he knocks down the eight-footer. Well, that was a big shot for us. 28-21 at the under four timeout. And uh, Coach, you, you move your pieces so well. You got Jordan Griffin, the senior, in here. This is a great play with the reverse layup and the pass from Sam. Well, the reason he's in is John Pax, uh, uh, John Pax in foul trouble. And, uh, you know, we needed to, he was, he had foul, he had three fouls and, and Jordan, we were playing small and he did a good job moving without the ball. 32-24 Coastal at the half, second half. It's grand to go one more time from three. Big shot. And then Stefan Johnson gets going for Gardner Webb, and that nine point lead all of a sudden becomes shrinks to three in a hurry. Well, they can make plays. Johnson's tough, and they, they take it to the hole strong. Here's Kier Greenwood with the hoop and the foul. He really came on as a scorer in the second half. He really did. I thought his plays taking it into the paint were big for us. And, it, you know, this was the story. You had two guys that you could go to. Here's Grandigo knocking down a jumper when he's wide open. He's going to make that a lot. He sure is. 48-39, Coastal in front, and then here's Kier with another hoop and foul. Got the shooter's roll this time. He did. 51-43, to Coastal Carolina with the lead. Coach, you get into a little bit of foul trouble, and here comes Gardner-Webb, this slam by Harper. It's a two-point ball game. Well, it's going to be nip and tuck from here on out. John Pack playing in foul trouble here, takes the pass from Kier, gives you a, a big basket, 55-51. That was a nice move. Had a little opening. He, hit, he saw the crease, made the play. And then, as things got tighter, Danny Neiman knocks down to three. He knows when to pull the trigger. You're up 560 to 55. Well, it is still, these, these guys from Gardner Webb not going to go away. They give credit to the running Bulldogs. They were relentless. Bugs hits the three right here. It's a two point game. And then uh, Grand to go one more big jumper at 62 58 Coastal. Well, it's a, it's a two, two possession lead, but here they come. And then really, Coach, it gets down to foul throws. You guys take your turns, and uh, Newsom hits a couple of free throws, sets the stage, and then on this last play, uh, just break it down here as Kier is going to get to the free well, throw line. We wanted to open the floor up for Kier, give him a drive, and the way that uh, the game was called as far as contact, we felt like if there was any contact, he could get the foul. He did, uh, but at the same time, and he knocks the foul shots down. But then we got to hang on. Well, Coach, these free throws were big, obviously. Tie game, four seconds to go, and Kier, just like he did at Charleston Southern, cold as ice. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. He, he has ice water in his veins. So Kier makes two free throws, and then you got to just hang on and play some defense, Coach, and uh, you, your stomach must drop to the ground when you see these shots go up. Well, Charleston Southern hit that kind of shot the other night, and fortunately this one went out. Or if, if this had gone in, we'd have lost. So Coastal Carolina hangs on for a 65-63 win over Gardner-Webb. And, Coach, I guess you got to get used to this now. It's going to be like this every night, it seems, in Big South play. On you what, it's it's like uh, pulling teeth. It's very difficult. But, you know, the teams in our league know you. We know them. And, you know, it's just a grind-out affair. After the game, we talked to Kier Greenwood and Chris Gradnigo about a hard-fought win. Uh, no pressure. Um, just take my time, knock the free throws down, and um, just do what I can to help my team win. No pressure. To better make it. Uh, it was just good to be home. Um, we got a lot of shots up this morning. Just felt good to be in our gym and shoot and get out of our little slump. We knew that they had a lot of momentum beating Charleston Southern, so they were going to come in hype, and we had to match their intensity, and um, we did that. 
RACC peak performer Chris Gradner go 23 points and seven rebounds in the win over Gardner Webb. Well, he really helped us pull away in the first half, and uh, had we not, that's the only spurt that we made during the course of the game. So uh, definitely, he made big shots that gave us the lift offensively. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll look at former Coastal Carolina players playing professional basketball right here in Myrtle Beach. That's when the Cliff Ellis Show continues right after this. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Creek Rats, A&I Fire and Water Restoration, and Britton Lawford. When it comes to fire, water, and mold damage, there is only one company to call, A&I Fire and Water Restoration. A&I has been in business for nearly four decades and continues to win national awards for their cutting-edge technology in the field, craftsmanship, and excellent customer service. In 2010, A&I took home another Chrysalis Award and are also recipients of the Big 50 Award for Remodeling Magazine. A&I is the Grand Strand's oldest, largest, and most trusted fire and water restoration company. So when disaster strikes, you know who to call. The name to trust, A&I Fire and Water Restoration. My HTC High Speed Internet is not only crucial to my day-to-day -day work, but it also offers a constant connection to the world around me. News, weather, staying in touch with friends, and still catching all the things I can't get on TV. HTC delivers the fastest and most reliable connection to the things that mean the most. Get HTC High Speed Residential Internet for as low as $14.95 a month with a variety of speeds available. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the seafood dinner special. Baskets, po'boys, wraps, and burglars. When you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merle Zimlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. The inside story is right at your fingertips. News Channel 15 is on Facebook and Twitter. Unlimited access, a conversation involving you. Insights, comments, a connection. Follow News Channel 15 on Facebook and Twitter. Your news, your station. If you like lots of scoring, you'll love the South Carolina Warriors. They rock the rim. They hit the three all night long. Check this out, 90 to 46. And that was only the score at halftime. They play in the ABA, the American Basketball Association, and the Warriors average more than 150 points a game. Former Coastal Carolina guard Mario Edwards is one of the star players on the Warriors roster. It's definitely fun. It's, um, I mean, we, we work so hard in practice, and by the time it gets to the games, it seems like, I mean, it's a payoff, really. It's, it's, it's a time for us to have fun and, and um, to really show how hard we practice and to show people um, how talented we are and how, many, how, how, how we can score the ball. Another former Chanticleer, David Long, is a player coach for the Warriors. He comes off the bench but knows that his goal is to coach the game he loves. I, I want to coach. Um, I, I've been able to, to coach for some great coaches uh, and, and to play for some great coaches. Uh, I was able to work with Coach Ellis at Coastal for two years as a graduate assistant. I played for him for a year. I've uh, been able to learn a ton from him, uh, learn a lot from Buzz Peterson, those guys that have been at Coastal. And uh, I want to be able to, to get a job coaching and continue my coaching career. Colin Stevens is a third ex-CCU grad on the Warriors. Two others, Jack Leisure, left the team to go back to play pro ball in New Zealand, and Joe Harris is now playing for pay in South America. Warriors head coach Chris Beard says he's happy to see these players move forward with their careers. We want to try to have the best team we can. We want to win an ABA championship. We're currently working towards that. We're number two in the ABA. Uh, there's 90 teams that are active as of today in the ABA. We're number two in the first year of the franchise. So we're trying to win one, but 1B, just as important, we're trying to help each player's individual careers. Uh, it's very similar to minor league baseball. Um, if a guy on a double-A AA or triple-A baseball team got kicked up to the majors, that would be a huge story. That's what we're in it for. Edwards is already talking with other pro teams. He says a deal is close to completion. I'll be going back to Europe over to Serbia maybe here soon. So, But until the meantime, we're just worried about uh, the Warriors and, and, and winning games. Players on the Warriors team play for very little pay, but they do stay for free at Barefoot Resort and have other freebies to entice them to stay. I asked Edwards about his top memory on the basketball floor at Coastal Carolina. I had a game versus VMI my junior year where I made a game-winning shot um, at the buzzard and, and the, 
the fans rushed the court and everyone rushed the court and carried me off the court. It was probably one of my best experiences at Coastal. As for David Long, he says he has fond memories about his CCU career. It was a game against, against Charleston Southern that I was able to play and, and played pretty well in, hit some shots, and that's one that I'll, I'll always remember. Um, whenever I've had a chance to play with great friends, uh, with Jack Leisure and, and Colin Stevens, and had a chance to play with some great people and great friends, and that, that's what I remember the most, is being on the court with those guys and the memories that we were able to make. Um, a game against Winthrop as well, and then the, my, my all-time favorite, the only time I've ever dunked the ball in a, in a real game, I think, uh, We've got it on was, <laughs> was, it, was against UNC Wilmington at home. Long says Coastal Carolina basketball is headed in the right direction, following back-to-back -back Big South Conference regular season championships. It's really unbelievable what Coach Ellis and his staff have been able to do there, uh, and, and the players. They've been able to get great players with good character, and, uh, and great athletes, so it, it's only going moving forward and, and going up with with the the, con, the, the convocation center that's going to that's, that's finishing up now. They'll be able to get in there and and uh, be able to recruit even even better than they've already done. Uh, hopefully, get some better players, even better players in um, to fill the role of some of these great guys that are going to be leaving. Um, you know, so so it, it's only it's only moving forward and moving up. I, I, I think they. Uh, Coach Ellis is going to establish a great program like he's done at other places. Uh, the Coastal players are a big reason they're one of the best in the ABA. Well, I'm very proud of what they're doing. I think Chris Beard is doing a great job with this team, but to see Jack Leisure, Joe Harris, and I know they've, they've gone on to better things from that, so to speak, uh, but uh, seeing guys like Mario Edwards and David Long, Colin Stevens, it's just good to see that. This is a fun team to watch. Very proud that they're in the community. Very proud of what they're doing, and people should go out and support them. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, it's time for Sean's Corner. The coach goes one-on-one -on -one with Chris Gradnigo. That's when the Cliff Ellis Show continues right after this. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Coastal Orthopedic, Strand Orthopedic, Crescent Bank, Have a Nice Bank, and Chanticleer Holdings. Come get that relaxed, Greek rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merleson and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. HTC Home Security offers me the comfort of knowing I'm safe at night. I count on the monitoring services to safeguard my family and my belongings. HTC offers the peace of mind and protection I need for the things that matter the most. Bundle your HTC home phone with your existing security equipment for one low price. Switch to HTC Security Monitoring and start saving today. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Morning news is more than just recapping the news from the night before. It's important to fill you in, to keep you informed, and help you kickstart your day. My goal for the morning show is to make it the one place where viewers can go and feel comfortable that they're going to get all the up-to-date information about weather, about news, and about the stories that are going to impact their lives. Let's go. Let's get the day started. And don't even think about hitting that snooze button. Start your day with Good Morning Carolinas, only on News Channel 15. Your news, your station. We're here today on Shant's Corner with Chris Grandigo, Lake Charles, Louisiana, the Bayou Country, man. I tell you what, that crawfish, you suck the heads out of them things? Everything. I eat the whole crawfish. I'm I love telling them. you, they are good stuff. I learned to love them myself. Can you peel them? I peel them, do whatever, cook them. Cook them? You, 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 get it, you get that hot sauce in them? Oh, man, we call them mud bugs. Mud bugs, I love them. I do, too. Who were your biggest influences growing up, Chris? Um, obviously my mother and my grandmother. Yep. Basically, I've always been around women, so. Talks about them all the time. Yeah, I just love to appreciate them. Moody and all. <laughs> you, live, you can't live without them, so. <laughs> what do you like most about Coastal Carolina? Well, first, they gave me an opportunity to play basketball, and I'm getting a degree here. I like the town, the city. Um, I didn't really, I wasn't used to ball peanuts, but I've learned to, <laughs> to like them. So. Well, how did you eat them? Someone, did, someone dared me to eat them because I was ball peanut. Well, what do you, how do you eat them? And that's a southern thing. How did you eat them in Louisiana? We didn't have ball peanuts where I'm from. What did you do? Roast them? Roasted peanuts, regular peanuts. Deep fried them? No, we didn't do all that. We just ate them regularly. Well, the peanuts pretty good now, boy. Ball peanuts. Yeah, I don't. That's like ball peanuts. <laughs> ball peanuts. There you go. That's 
the song. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. What's been your favorite moment as a Shauna Clear? I know you set out last year, and this is a, this is a big year for you, but what's, what's your favorite moment as a Shauna Clear? Um, watching the success from the team last year and cheering them on a victory in the championship game. We came short, but it was a great experience. Everybody was applauding us. What's the one thing that people would be surprised to know about Chris Grandigo? Uh, I have to sleep with my TV on. Or I won't be able to go to sleep. It has to be cold. I like R&B, and I can play the piano. Wow. Well, Thank you, Coach. I can't play the piano. I always want to. Are you an R. Kelly fan? I'm an R. Kelly fan. Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Drake. All those guys. You know who Drake is, Coach? I know of him. Do you know who Marvin Gaye is? Yes, I know Marvin. I'm just a stubborn kind of fella. Got my mind made up to love you. <laughs> Chris Grandigo, Lake Charles, Louisiana. He's something else on that basketball court, but he's a great person to deal, deal with and coach with off the floor, too. Coach, I'll tell you, we ran a little snippet of this piece on the newscast on Friday. Everyone at News Channel 15 loves it when you sing, and I said that if you make it to the big dance at Selection Sunday, we might have a concert or something. Well, there's no doubt about that. I'll do it. We get the NCAA tournament, I'll put on a concert anywhere. No doubt about that. Love the music. Love love Marvin Gaye. I do. I'm a Marvin Gaye guy. And we're going to hear Coach Moore singing on these Sean's Corners. I know that for a fact. As long as we're winning. That's right. <laughs> as long as the Sean Clears are winning. Time now for the HTC Scouting Report, Coach. And, boy, a quick turnaround. Tuesday night you go to Asheville. This will be one of the biggest mid-major games on the calendar this week. No question. And the national audience is starting to pick it up. Uh, it will be, I think, ESPN3 basketball game. Uh, so people will be able to come and get it. So, uh you know, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's the biggest game that's been played in the first half of the race. UNC Asheville, to their credit, played five road games. They've won all five. We've played three road games. We've won two. Uh, so Asheville has an advantage road-wise. And the best thing that we can do is go in there and try to steal a win. It'll be tough. This is a, this is a very, very good UNC Asheville team. But the people around here know that. And uh, uh, they're the team that was picked to win the league, and they're showing that. Saturday, you have Radford back here at Kimball Arena. Uh, they're a little bit down this year, but uh, anybody, any given Saturday, right? I'm telling you, you know, they, they took Maryland to the wire. This league has got so many good teams. And then next Saturday at 2 o'clock, we need the fans in because it'll be a big, big home game and last home game for about two weeks. All right, Coach, congratulations on two great wins here at Kimball Arena. And I know everyone's excited, and I know you're anxious to get to work to get ready for those UNC Asheville Bulldogs. No question. That's a big game Tuesday night. I know everybody in the area and all the Coastal Carolina nation will be following that game. All right, Coach, best of luck. We will see you next week with highlights from Asheville as well as the Radford game right here on the Cliff Ellis Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Bonnie Plants. Our roots run deep. Hello, I'm Cliff Ellis, and these are peat pots from Bonnie Plants. Bonnie Plants is where I like to go. When you get ready to garden this spring, you need to buy Bonnie Plants. They're the only ones in these 100% biodegradable peat pots. They encourage healthy root development, and they're so easy to plant. Just tear off the bottom half of the pot and the recyclable label, and they're ready to go in the ground. I want to thank Bonnie Plants for being a supporter of the Cliff Ellis Basketball Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Griffin Industries. Since 1943, Griffin Industries has been partnering with restaurants to provide spent grease removal. Griffin's family-owned recycling expertise covers 18 states, including the Carolinas. Call Griffin Industries today to see how your restaurant can receive best in-class service coupled with the most attractive rebate programs in the industry. Call 800-743-7413 or visit www.griffinind.com.